Hello subscribers, welcome to part 3 where you will finally create a 3D model to sell. If you would like to see other students work, let me know in the comments. And I will add you to a group so you can see how many are eager to earn money. Let's make a customized dress for this face. Open Make Human Software. Click on Geometries and choose a male shirt with a collar. Move to the Skeleton tab on the top left. Choose Game Engine for Bones. Then move to the Pose tab. Among various standing poses, choose the second standing pose. Let's make him more masculine like a real man. Adjust the settings as I demonstrate to suit the look of either a man or a boy. Finally, export the dress 3D model. Follow the demo and export the 3D model as dress in the desired folder. Open Blender and import the dress 3D model. Resize the dress and make it fit the face 3D model we sculpted earlier. Make sure the head is larger than usual, as we are creating a caricature with exaggerated proportions where the face is larger than the body. Select the dress and move to Edit Mode. Press P to separate by loose parts. Go back to Object Mode and delete to the bottom part of the dress. Similarly, select the body, move to Edit Mode, and separate loose parts. Rename the 3D models. Face Model. Hair model. Let's hide the annotations we used for sculpting the face to get a clearer view of the 3D model. Neck model. Dress model. Delete the unwanted body parts. Hide the neck. Delete the eyeball models and then unhide the neck. Select the dress and neck and choose clear parents and keep transformation. Delete bone armatures. Delete the armature modifiers which were cleared by our previous actions. Select the dress and click Shade Flat to see the original resolution of the dress. Select the neck, add a subdivision modifier and click Apply. Switch to Edit Mode with the dress selected. Hiding the face as it's causing disturbance while selecting the collar. Select the collar of the dress as I'm demonstrating. Press P and choose Selection. Increase the resolution of the collar using the subdivision surface modifier. Also, add a subdivision modifier for the dress. Apply the modifier for both the collar and the dress. Add Solidify modifier to the collar to make it suitable for 3D printing. Increase the thickness value to a decent number. For the dress, instead of using the Solidify modifier, we can follow this regular method. Change to Edit Mode. Press A. To select all, then press F to create faces. Select the face that has been created newly. Press 
need to extend and as to reduce the size. You can see the dress is now complete. Unhide the face model. Let's fill the gap between the neck and dress in sculpt mode. Use the elastic brush to drag the neck inside the dress, filling the gap. Go to Edit Mode and Hide the Dress 3D Model. To make the neck suitable for 3D printing, select all vertices and press F to create faces. Select the face model and switch to Sculpt Mode. Let's adjust the face and neck to avoid overlaps. Let's make it a half-size miniature. To do this, add a cube mesh and place it at the bottom of the human miniature, below where the models will be cropped. Add a Boolean modifier to the dress and switch to wireframe viewport to view the three models clearly. Then, select the cube as the target object in the boolean modifier. Choose the fast and apply the boolean modifier. Delete to the cube and change to solid viewport view. Finally let's export the 3D model. Open the Ultimaker Cura software. Drag and drop the 3D model. Press Ctrl plus A to select the 3D model and increase its size. It seems the 3D model is not yet complete at the bottom, so let's revisit Blender and make changes. Go to Edit Mode. Select All and Create Faces by pressing F. Export the 3D model again. Reload it in Ultimaker Cura. Uncheck the Support and slice the 3D model. The color needs some corrections. Go to Blender. Select the color. Right-click and choose Set Origin to the Geometry. Move the color along the Z-axis so it will be better for 3D printing. Export the 3D model. Reload it in Ultimaker Cura. Slice it and you will see the awesome output. Now you don't just 3D print. You can also sell these models online, where people will buy them. Open the Cults 3D website. Click Upload to showcase our work. Let's add a 3D model. I will name this model as Half Size Human Miniature. Scroll down to fill other details. Our model comes under the Art category. I am listing it under Sculptures, People, and Replica. You can find the key tags in the video description. Fill in the description with details about your 3 model and its print settings. Upload the Blender file and the 3D model file to Cults 3D, ensuring the file name matches the title. Also, Upload a template picture of your 3D model to be displayed on Cults 3D. Click Next. Upload as a free model with the Creative Commons Attribution License. 
so users credit you boosting visibility and encouraging more downloads. After getting enough downloads, you can revisit this link and change it to a paid one. You will start earning passive income as you grow. Let's see how it looks after 3D printing. It took 5 hours to print this 15 centimeter tall miniature. I will manually remove the supports, though these inbuilt ones can be quite challenging and time consuming to handle. If you have any alternative methods for adding supports to 3D models that make the removal process easier and more efficient, please feel free to share them in the comments. After removing the supports, I will use sandpaper to smooth the surface of the face and curved body parts. For flat areas like the dress and open surfaces, I will use this iron sand file tool, which you can easily find at your local hardware store. This is how it looks after removing all the supports. After all our hard work, let's celebrate by giving a like to this video. If you encounter any issues while sculpting, share the details with me. I am already helping many students improve their skills. Keep watching to learn how to paint these 3D prints.